It's a billion dollar business that's booming. Romance novels make up around 34% of the book market. But what is the appeal to both read and write stories that often fall victim to the roll of an eye or the harsh words of a critic? I went to the authors who say, for most, it's a love affair that started when they picked up their first romantic read. <laughs> Author Barbara Devlin is part of a panel at the National Romance Writers of America conference. The topic? characters with disabilities. As a former police officer, Barbara suffered a life-altering injury followed by a lifelong disability. The lowest point was not being able to walk. That accident ended Barbara's career as a cop, but opened the door to a new career while going through physical rehab. The bookmobile had dropped off books and I found this pile of romance novels sitting on my bed and I'm thinking, why did you give me these books? Is it because I'm a woman? I was a little irritated at first and then I just picked one up and started reading and then I couldn't stop reading. They gave you hope, definitely, but they looked to the future, to something better than, than even what you had in the book. Romance novels became a huge part of Barbara's recovery. I read a lot of books and thought I could do this and maybe somebody would read something of mine and maybe I would give them hope and I would do this my way and that's what I do. Romance has been proven to have the same effect on the brain as heroin. Liz Pelletier founded Entangled, a boutique publisher that releases 30 to 50 romance books each month. It almost has an addictive quality to it. You want to read another. Why the sexy covers, and do they really make a difference? So when we first launched, we didn't have really sexy covers. And I was like, all right, let's try a set of abs on a cover. Damn, a seller. <laughs> so I was like, okay, all right. So it the sells. has spoken. <laughs> mm -hmm. When times are really hard, you can turn to a romance novel and feel, feel hope. Former trial attorney, now best-selling author Alyssa Day, says the market is also driven by what's going on in our country. During divisive times, she says, sales go up because in a romance novel, you know the good guys are going to win. You know the happy and ever after is going to be there. And now that Barbara Devlin has found her happily ever after, she makes it a point to help other aspiring writers find theirs. I have to admit I grew up reading romance novels and have written and published a few too. I read under a pen name to keep my career separate. If you are a romance reader who wants to become a romance writer, head over to my Facebook page. I'll connect you to a national organization that will help you get started with workshops and other helpful advice. Just look for Fox 13's Linda Hurtado and like the page.